business, the product has to stand up on its own. So if you took everything away, you know, took any piece of branding away and you just presented someone with a drink, it would have to be brilliant. If we weren't brewing good beer, we wouldn't be able to sell it. And you know, we, we want to be proud of, of, of what we're brewing as well. The ethos behind it is just to produce exquisitely quaffable ales. We can essentially brew, brew any, any beer that we like from, from a, you know, a, a lager to a, a, a pale ale, what, anything really because you know, we've got the, the water for it. Water is an extremely important part of the beer you make uh, uh, and certain waters lend themselves to certain beers. Now, we have extremely soft water in the Pennines and they lend themselves extremely well to our gold and our amber which are brothers, if you like, at the bar. I do enjoy the heavily hopped stuff. Uh, I do enjoy the lighter stuff, but if you found a, the perfect middle ground, it would have to be Stodfold Amber. It's beer that you want to drink and, and you want to drink, drink quite a lot of, hopefully. I actually grew up on the farm just across the yard here, uh, and four years ago, um, we thought, well, maybe we could build a little business on, on, on the farm. We, we got our heads together and um, decided um, it may not be a bad thing to, to try and set up a brewery here. And we tried to talk ourselves out of it for a, probably a year, uh, failed to do so. We wanted something that would stand out. So there's a lot of ash trees around here. We're in a really beautiful part of the world. We're on the Calderdale Way. And we wanted something that even if you couldn't see what was written on it, you could look down a busy bar and you could say, ah, oh, that's Stodfold beer. I think what's so good about Stodfold is the expertise we've got in-house. You know, Paul, our head brewer, has got a PhD in the microbiology side of things. Uh, so hence one of the beers on the bar you'll see is called Dr. Harris, uh, and that's our man. Um, so when it comes to the actual process, I don't think there's a better qualified person in the country. When it comes to the engineering and the building of the thing, um, you know, we did that right and I think we invested in the right places. Coming up three years in August is when we first had sales going through the books, so it's nice to see it, you know, growing and the business developing. We're shipping about 50 barrels out, you know, between 40 and 50 uh, per, per week. But it's always ludicrously exciting to walk into a bar and see your beer in there. Ultimately, there's, there is something extremely nice about having a pint. If it's a great pint, it's a great pint. If it's a not so great pint, it's the conversation. But you have, having a pint, usually, obviously, with your friends. I suppose it's the social side that appeals to me. Um, so I would say, yes, I love beer. <laughs>